With 33 seconds left in the game, Taylor Eichler had a chance to put the Bobcats up, but her shot fell short, and so did the Bobcats' chances of getting atop the MAC East. What's up, Bobcat fans? I'm WAB Sports reporter Thomas Garver coming to you from the Convocation Center where the Ohio Bobcats lost a heartbreaker to the Buffalo Bulls 67-63 Wednesday night. Early on, Ohio shot like the weather outside. Ice cold. The Bobcats shot 2 of 14, a pedestrian 14% from the field. Buffalo is one of the better teams in the MAC defensively as they forced the Cats into uncomfortable looks in the first half. Turnovers and bad passes characterized Ohio's issues as no one could get into rhythm offensively. They turned the ball over 11 times and shot 27% from the field, yet only trailed by six at the break. With the Bobcats off to a slow start, Bulls leading scorer Sierra Dillards and Summer Hemphill left their mark. The two Bulls scored 39 of the team's 67 total points, but made their biggest play later in the game. In the midst of their struggles, Ohio found themselves in a one possession game down the stretch. Down 63 to 61 with a minute and a half to go. Freshman guard CC Hook stole the ball and went coast to coast to tie the game at 63. But remember when I said how Dillard and Hempel made the biggest play of the game? Well, here it is. Dillard finds Hempel wide open under the basket for the easy two. 33 seconds left in the game. Taylor Agler. She hadn't hit a shot all game and she takes the three for the lead and it falls short and the Cats fall in a heartbreaker. The Bobcats are back in action this Saturday when they travel to take on Bowling Green. For more WOUB sports content, go ahead and log on to WOUB.org. That's all I got for you for now. I'm WOUB sports reporter Thomas Garvick.